Hey all brothers and sisters, my name is Captain Meatshield and welcome back to the shipyard where we're carrying on with the build of the Enterprise D. We have got issue 20 here and I'm looking forward to just kind of getting stuck in with things. We've got stages 75 through 78 I believe, yeah that's going to be the last one. Um, so yeah, let's just get going. We are going to be starting off with some hole plating. This is going to be another piece that's for the edge of the saucer. Uh, so just escape pods in this one and like you know the kind of saucer edging. Uh, so let's just get on with that and get on with everything else. We're already off to a great start. You can just about see in there there's loads of like additional well, I say additional, there's there's bits of leftover material from the molding process, which Anybody else getting sick of all of this stuff? I swear it's every issue there's something. There's some kind of issue in every issue. Should probably be the tagline for this series now. And that's fantastic. The head of this screw is completely torn off. So the thread is now stuck in here. What even is this? What the fuck? I'm not entirely sure on what to do with this. Because that really could... I, I don't imagine it's going to cause serious problems, but... Fuck me, is this getting frustrating. This is just stuff that shouldn't be happening with a model... that costs this much. Like, the lack of overall quality of this is absolutely shocking it really is and the more that this kind of goes on I'm wondering whether or not I'm just better off cancelling the fucking subscription for this Jesus let's try and put this on and see what happens I imagine once the plates are actually on it should hold everything and you know everything should hold into place but obviously that little bit of security's gone. There we go, that panel's been installed. Uh, everything seems to be secure and everything's holding flush, which is, you know, a, a small blessing, I suppose. <laughs> I really don't know what's going on anymore. Um, another part that was put in with this stage is this, which is going to be kind of the, the upper side of the engineering hull, but we're not doing anything with this at the moment. These holes look like they're going to be where the connect, where where the connect, where the neck is going to connect. That's what I'm trying to say. So we can keep that aside for now. We will be doing some stuff with it in a minute. Uh, for now, we got to get. The, oh, I'm going to need the saucer for a moment. So uh, let's get the next bit. So for stage 76, we've got another bit of frame which is going to be fitting in around this side, I believe. So we've got to sort out the. Um, wires for all of this. I'm going to try and make sure that I tuck everything away as much as possible because with how things went with the last one, I really want to make sure that things aren't going to be getting trapped and causing problems. But let's sort these lights out because we've got to do essentially what we did over on the other side. Okay, this one went in no problem. This one, I don't even know what it wanted me to try and do with the wiring, because it was trying to show something that didn't make any physical sense as far as any of this went. So, whatever I've done, it's just going to have to do. Um, <laughs> fuck knows. Right, okay. Um, I think I've got to try and attach this to the rest of it now. Alright, so now we've got this fun again. Well, we've got to try and get things in under the frame that's next to it. So I'm going to try and loosen this a little. Now we make sure that everything's as out of the way as possible, which could be difficult. Right, that piece is now all fitted in. Took a little bit longer than planned, but uh, at least all of the screws have actually fitted, you know, actually fit correctly. I'm going to try and tuck some of these wires in a little bit neater because it's an absolute garbled mess under here. And this formation light needs to tuck in 
under here, presumably in kind of preparation for when the next bit of frame comes in. That's going to be sitting in somewhere around here, like so, just in there. Next up, we've got to take these two lights that we've just installed, and they need to be plugged in to wherever will fit them. I'm going to go in over here. And now that we've got that bit done, we can turn our attention back to this for the briefest of moments, because we've got this nice big panel full of windows that we need to install, and that's just going in on this side. Uh, I think there's going to be some reinforcement going on the back of that later on, but for now, I can just sit over there with all the spare windows and stuff. Yeah, I think that's going to be the bit. Cool. All right, stage 77, got more panelling that needs to be done. Uh, another nice, fairly easy one, mostly escape pods. So let's get all of this installed. And with the power of movie magic, that panel is done. Everything's in the right way around and fixed in place, which is just a relief. So let's put that down. Because we're going to be bringing this back. We've got to install the reflector panel, which is going in behind everything like so. And we've got some lights that we need to fit in as well. Uh, it's all going to be fixed in with these BP screws, so I'm going to sort that out right now. Okay, I think that's in. I don't think I've messed up too bad with the the plastic, I'm hoping. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to kind of put that down and not try and break anything. But now we're down to the last stage for this issue, and this feels like it's going by pretty quickly, but my, my timer says I've been here for 40 minutes. So, I'm guessing not, <laughs> but we've got to take uh, this set of windows, that's got to fit in here. No uh, reflector panel or anything else to do with it, so that's just got to sit like so for I don't know how long. But I can put that off to one side for now. To wrap up the last bits with this issue, we've got another one of these uh, long bits for the hull, um, which is going to be attaching onto this, and then we're going to be sticking that on the frame. So we've got a ton of windows, as always, reflector panels, lights, the usual shebang. So let me get this piece done, and then we'll have a look at what's next. All right, there we go. That's taken a little while, but we've got this uh, bottom panel done. Uh, fold all of the wires back, just so they're going to be preemptively out of the way. Now we need to clear some space because the saucer needs to come back over. And we are going to be working on this side. We need to take the other set of lights, wherever they've gone, there they are. They need to come and thread through somewhere. Okay, there we go. That's That's got things kind of sorted over here. I, it will fix itself, given time. Alright, now... Wiring this in is going to be interesting, because we've got them going into different PCBs. So, you're feeding in through this way. And you're plugging into the last available slot in here. Right, there's one more small connection in on this side, but otherwise that middle board is about as full as we can get it. I want to meet the guy that designed all the wiring for this. Throw him out an airlock. All right, cool, we're in. So good, bloody complicated. All right, and now we've got to take this. Uh, let me have a look at the instructions, because... Uh, okay, there's a loose, or well, there's a spare bulb in here. That needs to come out. And then one of these that we've just threaded through, you're going to get tucked in there so you're not in the way, it needs to come along as well. I think we've got all that in. Now all we've got to do is get the actual plate in. So I'm going to try and tug these wires out of the way so that it all comes in nice and tight. And then, moment of truth. Moment of truth and it all falls apart. Fantastic. Love my job. <coughs> oh, why can't you just stay in place? Don't you start copying him. Go on. Get. I think we're about as in as this thing wants to go. 
but I don't like how things are joining down here. Ah, come on. Close up. Right, fuck it, let's get the screws. Okay, that has just about gone in. Things weren't lining up properly for quite a while and then they finally clicked into place, which was a relief because I thought things had completely cocked up. Uh, the join along here, this seal is still looking a bit there. Nah. You can see the, the kind of the tabs that are meant to hide under the different plates, which I'm not too chuffed with. There may be, you know, there may be the option of filling that with some sort of putty or something, but again, kind of comes back to, you know, the cost of this model. It shouldn't be a thing that we have to do. But that's everything done for now. We can plug in the lights or plug in the power, check the lights, and everything seems to be working for now which is good. So that's a nice relief and I can put things down for the next little while. That being said, I don't know when the next shipment of parts is due. This last issue was sent out back towards the end of March and I've had no email correspondence since. There was one email before this one showed up um, saying that kits 1 through 82 had been booked in and dispatched and everything like that but or I think they said they'd been booked in and accounted for or something like that but I've not had up to 82 I've only had as far as 78 so I don't know what they mean by that I don't know when more parts are going to be showing up we're just gonna have to wait and see I may try and contact customer service just to try and find out what's going on with things um, for now, I'm really not sure. We'll just have to see what the future holds. But, for those of you who are at home who are doing this build along with me, uh, I hope that things are going as smoothly as they can for you. I know that a lot of people have been uh, mired by the same sort of issues that I've been having. Um, yeah, I, I... I don't know how I'm feeling about it, but... You know, I'm well, well over halfway through this now, presumably. Um, if this was meant to be getting done in 120 kits and we're on 78 now, uh, I'm over the halfway mark. And I do want to finish it, but I'm really hoping that I'm going to be happy with the end result when I'm done. And the last couple of days have made, and along with all of the other issues throughout all of this, um, make me feel a little less than hopeful. I'm kind of, um, part of me's concerned that, you know, I'll get around to the end of it, I'll assemble everything, I'll put it on the display stand and it will just fall into pieces. But, hopefully, it won't come to that. We'll just have to see what happens as more and more parts come along. But for now, I'm going to wrap things up here, so I'll just say thank you all so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, do check out things on the channel. Um, I know the uploads have been pretty sporadic over the last year, with very little actually happening. But, um... You know, if there's something that you enjoy, please do go have a look at it and, uh, you know, leave a comment, likes, all that sort of stuff, let me know. But, for now, I'm going to wrap things up and, yeah, I'll catch you all very, very soon. I hope. This is Captain Meatshield, signing off.